Will the looming Fed taper cause interest rates to spike? Don't count on it. Hi, I'm Jim Griffin of Derivative Logic here to get you straight to smart. In his much anticipated speech last week, Fed Chair Powell's comments all but confirmed our expected timing of a taper. We expect the Fed will outline a plan for tapering at its November policy meeting and will begin a modest tapering in December, assuming economic momentum and inflation readings cooperate. In the meantime, the Fed will drop even more tapering hints at its September 20th policy meeting. Powell's comments last week watched by financial markets globally as the timing, pace, and degree of tapering will impact the value of many financial assets, took stock of the economy's rapid progress and solid outlook and laid out reasons not to overreact to current high inflation readings. Despite all the fanfare around his speech, don't be fooled. It's all part of the Fed's careful process of mitigating financial market surprises, which matters far more than the precise details of its tapering plans. As for rate hikes, the Fed chair went out of his way to divorce tapering from rate hikes in the minds of markets. As such, don't read into the tapering discussion that the Fed is on board with hiking rates anytime soon. They're not. After everything we heard last week, we maintain our view that the first hike will show up in 2023. For the rest of the year, if all occurs as we expect through year-end, we suspect the yield curve will steepen. Short-term interest rates will remain anchored near zero, and long-term rates, like the 10-year Treasury yield, will drift slowly higher, wrapping the year somewhere near the 1.5% handle as the Fed's tapering activity is broadly viewed as a signal that the economy is firmly on the road to a full recovery. For the week ahead, the next clue as to whether the Fed's view on tapering is the correct one will come via August jobs report, which comes out on Friday. Pretty much every commentator out there expects that the pace of hiring slowed in August from July's torrid pace on the back of still slow supply chains and a scaling back of spending on both the business and consumer fronts. If our forecasts are correct and we see similar job results in September and October, the data will give the Fed comfort to look past near-term economic wobbles stemming from the Delta variant and proceed toward that modest taper in December. From all of us at Derivative Logic, have a great week. visit our website, derivativelogic.com.